Hello all. I want to do more examples of cube roots with you, but in order to do lots of examples, I can't actually work each step with you. So I'll let you work each step on your own, and I'll just make sure that you do each step correctly. Let's start some examples. What's the cube root of 86? Well, we need to know our cubes. What's a cube that is about 86? Mm, 4 and 5. It's in between 4 and 5. So let's say it's 4.3. We need to divide 4.3 into 86. 86. Divide 4.3 into this. Pause if you need to. All finished? You should get 20 as your quotient. Now do it again. We need to do it twice. What's 4.3 into 20? You should get 4.651 as your quotient. Next, add 4.3 twice. 4.3, 4.3, and divide this number by 3. A third of 1 is 0. A third of 13 is 4. A third of 12 is 4. A third of 5 is 1. Now this, this is our first time through, so we only need two digits. I won't worry about these. Our improved estimate, 4.4. .4. Now let's repeat this process. Divide 4.4 .4 into 86. you should get 19.5455. We only need six digits. Now do it again. Divide 4.4 .4 into this number. You should have 4.44216. We're going to add 4.4 to this twice and then divide by 3. I'll let you do that. All finished? Okay. You're, after you divide by 3, you should have 4.414. Now let's do this one more time. What's 4.414 into 86? All finished, you should get 19.4834671. Repeat this, divide 4.414 into this number. After you do that, add 4.414 twice and divide by 3. All finished? Good. Hopefully you got 4.414004962. So this is our third estimate. Now let's see what the real answer is. It's actually 4.414004962. Look at that. Our answer is perfect. That won't always happen, but it might sometimes. We got lucky. Let's do another example. What is the cube root of 318.4? We need our cubes. What cube is close to 318? Uh, seven's, seven's close. Six, not as good. Let's use seven as our estimate. So 
So divide 7 into 318.4. When you finish, you should have a four-digit quotient of 4549. Repeat this. Divide 7 into this number. Your next quotient should be 6.499. Add your estimate 7 to this twice and divide by 3. When you do that, you should get 6.8. So that's our improvement, 6.8. Now repeat this process. Divide 6.8 into 318.4. 318.4. Hopefully you got 46.8235. Repeat that. Divide 6.8 into this number. Your next quotient should be 6.8858. Now add your estimate 6.8 to this twice and divide by 3. Ready? Pause if you're not ready. If you're ready, your improvement should be 6.829. Now let's repeat this one more time. Divide 6.829 into 318.4. Your first time dividing you should get 46.624688883. Repeat this one more time. Divide 6.829 into this number. Hopefully you got 6.8274548. Now add your estimate 6.829 to this twice and divide by 3. And our better estimate is 6.828484833 or uh, excuse me 4933 but the actual answer was the actual cube root using a calculator 6828484898 so we're four hundred millionths off. Pretty close, but not perfect. Let's do one more. And I'll take a hands-off approach here. What is the cube root of 7,803? The first thing before you get started is that we only take numbers between 1 and 1,000. So we're going to move the decimal point over three times. Instead of taking the cube root of this, 
let's take the cube root of 7.803. We need a cube that's about 7.8, uh, 2. 2 cubed is 8. So let's use 2 as our first estimate. Go ahead, get started. I'll just tell you the intermediate steps. So you work and pause until you're ready. All finished, your improvement should be 1.983 or thereabouts. I like to go four, four digits but if you want, you can use just three digits or five, but I use four, 1.983. Now you repeat this process and see if you can improve on this. All finished. Your next improvement should be this, 1.9834468.06. But remember, we took the cube root of 7.8. We actually want the cube root of 7,803. So I'm going to move this decimal point back one space. So our calculation was 19.8344-6806. Let's see what the actual cube root was. It's actually using a calculator. It's 19.8344-6706. So we were, what, one millionth off. Still very good, but not perfect. Um, hopefully you were able to do all this work on your own. If not, that's okay. It takes time. It takes practice. But try these again and many, many more. The more you do, the more the easier it'll get. So have fun. I hope this helped. Good luck.